Final question. I like this one. I came up with this one. How many Japanese athletes, men, will finish in the top 10? Three is my pick. Three. Okay. Three. So this is a tough – if you're going just based on PRs, the top-seeded Japanese athlete on the men's side, uh, Kengo Suzuki, is seeded ninth. However, I expect some of that top group to not have a good day or to fall back. Fall back. Suzuki, you know, two, actually, no, he's not seated ninth. He would be seated eighth, excuse me, with his 204 56. So I feel good about him. And then you have a huge group of guys who have run 206 or 207. And I think one or two of them are also going to, to factor in to the top 10. So my pick would be three Japanese men in the top 10. Yeah, I mean, you look at the international, the non-Japanese field, there's basically eight Kenyan slash Ethiopians in the field, right? And so, mm -hmm. you know you're probably going to at least get two in the top ten. But, you know, this is Japan's, you know, Super Bowl, right? The Tokyo Marathon. It's their one world major that they have. Japanese distance running is unlike anything else. They have been running out of their mind over the past few years. I mean, the number mm -hmm. of... Japanese athletes who run like elite times, like sub 208, sub 209, sub 210 is incredible. Mm. Like comparing it to American distance running, it's like night and day. Like the th probably like the 30th best Japanese runner would be like the second best American behind Galen Rupp. It's kind of wild uh, because they just love their distance running out there. And so that's why I think um, – I think we might have more. I'm I'm gonna go a little wild here. I think, I think, I think four. I think four Japanese athletes will mm -hmm. yeah be in the top ten. So I'm going with four. I think that's a good that's a good pick because you figure someone like Suzuki is a lock, and if there are only eight non Japanese in that that those those top seeds, there'll be other runners obviously there, but in that group, the reason why I think that group is gonna hold though. You know, you don't see Kipchoge falling out of the top 10. Legese and Garamu, there's a lot of very consistent guys in that group, the Kenyan and Ethiopian group. It's not, oh, this guy ran a PR two years ago and then DNFs or DNS is a whole bunch. There's a lot of people there who are consistent players. Now, some of them do have DNFs on their records um, or are just going to be able, they're going to have a bad day or they're just going to get straight beat because if you're a 206 runner, you can beat a 203 runner. That's not that big of an upset considering how unpredictable the marathon is so yeah i don't i could see someone going five here and not being that crazy i think i think four is actually a good a good pick but i'm gonna stick with three so you're going with three i'm going with four let us know again if you're listening to this podcast you gotta open up your laptop or open up your phone and go <laughs> to the youtube channel to then let us know your pick. Okay, this is the first time we're doing these picks, so it's a little ad hoc right now. We haven't really got it all, all of our stuff together, but eventually we're going to get together, especially by NCAAs. But this is, this is uh, year zero of, the, mm -hmm. of our pick them. You can see on the screen, put up the screen, this is what it's going to look like um, mm -hmm. before you go pick. You know, it's very, very simple. Click on what you think is going to happen. You lock it in, put your phone number in, and then you'll be able to keep track of whether or not you're right or wrong. And it's going to be fun. We're going to make it fun. We're going to have some great pops. We even – good props. We'll even invite you all, the community, to kind of give us suggestions of a, of a question of what you want to bet on, right? Because we're not just betting mm -hmm. on who's going to win. It could be like, hey, will Devin Pancake ever break four again, <laughs> you know, in the rest of his college career? We don't know. We're going to find that out. But, again, let us know. Yeah. You're going with, what, three – you're going with three Japanese athletes in the top 10. I'm going with four, and that's our yeah. picks. Yeah, and then I'm going sub-205 for Kipchoge, and then yes on the Sarah Hall American record. So next week, are you going to do – are we doing this for like NCAA indoors? Is that the idea? Yes, NCAAs, and the mm -hmm. week after that, we'll do it for Worlds. That's Man, well – I'm just thinking you're going to get like really specific with the NCAA indoor picks. It's like, will LSU score 36.5 points? Yes or no? Yeah, why not? Well, you have, you have ones that are like very simple. Will this person win? Yes or no, right? 
Yeah. Then you have fun ones like how many Japanese athletes are going to finish in the top 10. Like that's not something you ever yeah. really think about. We were mm -hmm. going to do a uh, – the one question we were going to do is how fast will Kipchoge's last mile be? Mm. But I, look, I looked I at the results. They don't really have that split normally because of the point two on 26.2. So I couldn't yeah. guarantee I would know the exact la – what the time of the last mile is. Um, you could do last 2K. That'd be a nice play to our uh, non-US listeners out there. Oh, can they play? Can people around the world play? This is a US thing. Yeah, it's going to be everyone. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Cool. All right. Yeah, there's a bunch of previews on the site too. If you want more Tokyo Marathon coverage, as I mentioned, I wrote in our article as well.